It's Tuesday night and it's time for another dose of the FFA Cup, where we pretend there's some kind of intrinsic value to this irrelevant garbage. And boy, hasn't this tournament given us so many memories already? Like the introduction of Mackle, more or less? Mike Cockerell uncomfortably eating peasant wog food? That time Lucian Lavendor accidentally spat on himself? And of course, this! If it was possible for Nick Giannopoulos to conceive a love child with a 1966 Valiant, this is what you'd get. Today we see the reigning Craig Foster Cup holders take on a team that hasn't been in the limelight since Hootie and the Blowfish were relevant. Yes, it's Melbourne City versus Heidelberg United, and I'm expecting a cricket score out of this one. But thanks to our Ashes top order, that isn't exactly a lofty ambition anymore, you fucking shit cunts! Now we are all desensitized to the differing degrees of douche that defines the Melbourne City squad, so let's take a closer look at the Heidelberg side. There's Stephen Pace, who used to play in the A-League when Norm Sekoloski was an employable commodity. There's also Griffin McMaster, he's a part-time footballer, full-time fuckwit, who rose to fame after tweeting that Adam Good should be deported. He also used to write on 442, but nowadays he writes on Stormfront. And of course, there's old mate Suvaki Garlic Sauce over here, who got the locals' hearts pounding like a tarabuka, thanks to his past folklore heroics. Yes, he was part of the famous Greek side that won Euro 2004, but sorry Heidelberg fans, if I'm gonna be nostalgic about something that happened 11 years ago, I'll be reminiscing about that time Stacey Cooper gave me a handjob at schoolies. If you were a Heidelberg fan, this game felt like being told your firstborn had been diagnosed with cancer, and then being punched square in the nuts, because Aaron Moy was raw dogging you bitches all night, while single-handedly turkey slapping your cup aspirations. My two minute noodles weren't even ready before you cunts fucked it up. Mate, look at this fucking backline! I'm bloody convinced it's full of cunts who would propose to their girlfriend at a McDonald's car park. Look at them here! They're over-glorified witches' hats moving as fluently as though they're holding a hard-boiled egg between their butt cheeks. That's fucking yellow starburst defending if I've ever seen it. 20 minutes in and some Heidelberg cunt whose name I'm never gonna fucking learn tries to save some face for his side, but old mate Tando tells him to go stuff himself because the only thing harder than getting one past Tando Vilapi is picking his fucking nationality. Melbourne City were treating the first half like a steak as they were peppering the goal and the chances of this one staying 1-0 was as likely as the Fox Sports team shutting the fuck up about Suvaki. Listen Fox Sports, we fucking get it! There's fucking Suvaki at these fucking pleb grounds. Fucking wow, okay? There's also dirty syringes and used condoms in the car park too, but you don't seem to be romanticizing that element of these venues now, do you? The halftime team talk must have consisted of the Heidelberg coach telling his players how he's trapped in a loveless marriage and that he hasn't felt happiness in years because those players came out completely dejected and ready to be gaped. Heidelberg's chances of keeping the scoreline respectable was receding quicker than Aaron Moy's hairline when the Melbourne midfielder said fuck this and made McMaster his McBitch. Yeah, nice Boy Scout shorts, Griffo, you fucking punts. It really compliments the fact that you've missed leg day for the past eight years. But Moy wasn't done, when only minutes later he decided to turn on beast mode yet again and underline Griffin's bitch status. Jesus, McMaster, you play like you've had some kind of cranial intrusion. Mate, you play as bad as you write. And if you haven't been acquainted to the writing of Griffin McMaster, Here's an extract from one of his 442 articles. Trent Sainsbury, developing well as a player for Central Coast. Contested head as positional play, he's improving all the time. Team kept a clean sheet. Heidelberg were free-falling quicker than Frank Lowy off the grand final podium as Aaron Moy got his third, and I'm not even sure if this fit cunt can count that high. He scored more goals than syllables he'll use in his post-game interview. He's making McMaster look like a fool, and normally he has to log onto Twitter to do that, but may fucking soak it up because in five years' time, you'll be looking like Stem Ray Delosky on ice. 92nd minute in Melbourne City aren't done with the psychological torture as they put five on it like the West Coast hip-hop classic that my millennial viewers haven't heard of. Watching this defense is more painful than having a cactus grow inside your urethra. They play like they've got methadone withdrawals and are more underwhelming than a Thursday FC monologue. Jesus Christ, can you cunts just stop sucking already? I'm running out of shit to insult you about. Like, uh, 
Nice fucking LinkedIn page, McMaster. You dickhead. So in closing, fuck Heidelberg and fuck feta cheese. <laughs>